Okay, so we, in our previous video, we tested the fuel pressure regulator number two circuits using a DVOM, a test light, and control functions in the scan tool. If you'll go back and watch that video, you can see that the test light <clears throat> at 80% duty cycle is brighter. We knock it down to 40% duty cycle, you can see the test light intensity of the test light bulb decrease. You can see we go from 80% to 40% duty cycle on the DVOM and you can see it on the scan tool. That's a pretty clear indication that we had control over that regulator using both of those circuits. But let's say we didn't. <clears throat> Maybe we tested it and we changed the duty cycle with the scan tool but we never saw the change on the DVOM or we never saw the change on the um, the intensity of the of the bulb of the test light. So I've got the schematics pulled up here. And on the right hand side, you see the connector for the fuel pressure regulator. On the left hand side, we're looking at the engine control module connector. So fuel pressure regulator high side control is terminal one at the regulator two connector. It's terminal 13 at our engine control module connector. So if we didn't have control over it, the next step would be for us to test that circuit from end to end and check resistance on it, which we should be less than two ohms resistance from end to end. So I've already connected from here, terminal one to right here, which is gonna be terminal 13 at the engine control module connector. And if you come over here and take a look at my DVOM, you can see we're reading 0.4 ohms or less than half an ohm resistance, which is a good number. Okay, is that, is that enough? Is just checking resistance on a circuit, <clears throat> is that enough for me to know that the circuit's intact, that the circuit's good? I'm gonna tell you no. We probably need to go one step further in something that they really don't show you in in the books and the diagnostic processes is how to do a loaded voltage test of the circuit. Uh, in other words, we need to make some current flow through that circuit by applying a load to that circuit and see if it's capable of carrying the load. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually going to use a light bulb on this circuit and we're gonna apply power to one end of the circuit and we're gonna ground the, the light bulb on the other end of the circuit and see if the light bulb will light and if it does, that indicates that I have some current flow through the circuit. So then I've, I've backed up this result as being a good result of 0.4 ohms. Uh, the reason I say that just testing resistance in the circuit is not enough, and I'm gonna pull up the schematic so you can kind of see where I'm going with this. So we got our connector in view here for the fuel pressure regulator. So let's actually pull up the schematic for this. And you can see I'm testing this circuit right here. Circuit 2530 blue and white. <clears throat> Let me get you a better visual on that. So I am actually testing regulator high side control. Let's see if I can get us a better view of this. <laughs> no didn't work the way I wanted it to. Let's just do it this way. So I'm testing regulator high side control and I wish I could get this to cooperate. We're testing fuel pressure regulator high side control from end to end, which is gonna be circuit 2530 right here, blue and white, okay? So let me show you what, what my plan is here. That's a little better. Here's what we're about to do when we say we're gonna do a loaded voltage test of this circuit. So what I've done here is I have
I've disconnected the X2 connector, the engine control module. Okay. And I have disconnected the fuel pressure regulator connector. And I'm simply checking the continuity of this circuit. And it shows 0.4 ohms. But there's no load on that circuit because the load on that circuit, what is in that circuit that causes the current to flow through that circuit is the load. My load is my fuel pressure regulator. Well, with it disconnected and no current flow, I could have one tiny strand of copper wire holding this entire circuit together and it would read 0.4 ohms. But when I applied a load to it, I would see a massive voltage drop across that wire because there's not enough copper strands left intact to carry the load. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hook up a light bulb to one end of this circuit and I'm going to apply power to the other end of the circuit directly from the battery and I'm gonna see if the light bulb will light up. So let me see if I can get this set up and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so let me explain exactly what we've done. We've taken a little 194 peanut bulb, like a third brake light bulb. This bulb's capable of flowing about a quarter of an amp of current because it's about a six ohm bulb, roughly. And that's when we apply 12 volts to it. So <clears throat> one end of the bulb is coming from that circuit on the fuel pressure regulator. The other side of the bulb is grounded right here, okay? or is actually attached to 12 volts. And then this right here is coming from my engine control module, uh, terminal 12, which is the other end of that circuit. Engine control module is disconnected and I'm actually gonna apply power here. And you see that the bulb lights up, right? My meter's reading negative voltage. I need to reverse my leads. That's all that's wrong there. You see that this bulb lights up nice and bright and you can also see on the DVOM that we're at 12.49 volts. So here's what that tells me. That's just confirmation that that 0.4 ohms of resistance in that wire was a good reading because I've also done a loaded voltage test. I have current flowing through my circuit now, right? Nice bright bulb. And I've got my DVOM plugged in right here as well so I can see my voltage at 12.49 volts. That circuit is capable of carrying a load. So before I said that my circuits were good just by doing an end-to-end -end test and testing resistance or testing continuity with my meter, I want to put a little load on that circuit too and make sure that, that circuit will carry the load, that the, the copper in the wire in the harness in this truck is in good shape. Uh, you would not believe how many times I've tested a circuit resistance on a circuit and thought it was good and replaced a component and sure enough it wasn't good because I didn't do a loaded voltage test like you see me doing here. Um, can you do this on every circuit? No. You, you have to be careful on the circuits you do it to because I'm applying power to that circuit directly from the battery. Okay. How I know it is safe to test the circuit this way? Let me pull up our schematic again. Let's take a look at it. So I'm testing this wire right here, okay? You can see by my schematic that this wire does not splice and go anywhere else. It is a straight shot from the regulator terminal one to the engine control module X2 connector terminal 13. If it was spliced and going anywhere else, it would have a little symbol in here indicating that this wire splices off and it goes to other components. In that case, I, I have one or two choices. Either I don't test it this way and I hope that checking continuity on that circuit was, was a good enough test, or I have to dig into my schematics, determine everywhere where that, that wire goes and go unplug everything that it goes to before I test it this way because I'm applying voltage to that circuit. And if it's plugged into something somewhere else that's sensitive, like a control module, and I apply voltage to it, I probably just cost myself a control module. So you just want to make sure that all your testing is wired by itself when you're doing it this way. That's it. You don't want to test it any other way. And all I'm doing is right here at Terminal 1, 
one side of my light bulb is plugged in, in the, into this connector, right? The other side of the light bulb is going to ground. And then right here, I've got a little jumper wire coming from terminal 13 and going to battery positive. <clears throat> and that gives me this result. A nice bright bulb and near, near battery voltage on my DVOM indicating that I am capable of carrying the load across that circuit. And that circuit's in good shape. Just another quick test you can do to verify your circuits before you either, you know, install a component or just do a quick continuity check and say that your wire's good. Hope this helps out.